hello everyone and i welcome you all to my channel so for today we are going to be making a simple video on how to cut your abaya or some people call it cow kaftan so the first thing i have to do was to fold my fabric into four so that is what i did i folded my fabric into four so after folding the fabric the first thing you have to do is to measure your shoulder measurements now note that for your shoulder measurements you are not to divide it by two because you want um you want the sleeve to you want it to actually fall so my shoulder measurement is 14 inches and that is what i made use of so after taking your shoulder measurement the next thing you have to do is to mark your sleeve length so my sleeve length is 11 inches so i'm going to mark 11 inches there also now another method you can also use is to measure both your shoulder and your sleeve together and mark it together so i have my shoulder measurement and i also have my sleeve measurement at that um point so after that the next thing we have to do is to mark our hip measurements our hip measurements so i'm going to make use of 18 inches for the hip measurements now in order for you to know um how many inches you are going to use for each measurement you can watch my previous video on how to take body measurements that was why i explained the distance from your bust to your waist to your hip so i'm going to link that down below at the description bar so i took my hip measurements which is about 18 inches so that is where i marked and i'm marking my knee level so for my knee length i'm going to come up with about two inches above the knee because i actually want the free um i actually want my knee to be free while moving so i have my knee measurements and i have my hip measurements and i have my shoulder measurements so don't forget to join us on facebook sewing is fun by tg designs sewing is fun by tg designs i'm going to put down the details down below at the description bar so the next thing i have to do now is to mark my hip measurements my hip measurements is nine inches divide my hip measurements when you divide it by four because the fabric is folded into four i have about nine inches so i'm going to add two inches because i want it to be free and note that when you are cutting an abaya is supposed to be free it's not something that has to be very tight so i'm just going to add about two inches to it because it's actually a short one but if the abaya was a long one it's preferable you add enough inches to it to make it look like a full maxi gown so i marked my 11 inches at my knee level down up to my hip line so that is what i have my 11 inches so what i'm doing now is to connect the lines together so connect the lines together so that's what i have 11 inches so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so i have 11 inches across so i'm just trying to make sure it's accurate so after that what we have to do next is to what we have to do next is to mark our round sleeve your round arm o rather your round arm o so your round arm o simply means your round sleeve your round sleeve why am i saying round arm o <laughs> your round sleeve so your round sleeve simply means um you mark the me you take your measurements of your round sleeve so my round sleeve is about five inches so i'm marking my five inches from my shoulder slant so we have five inches at that um point don't forget to always take your shoulder slant away so i have five inches at that point so that is where i have my five inches at that point so the next thing we have to do now is to connect our hip line to our round sleeve we have to connect our hip line to our round sleeve so if you're not very um good at using a freehand sketch you could make use of your round 
you could make use of your arm or curve or you could make use of dotted lines and you later straighten them up to give you what you actually want so i'm just connecting my hip line to my round sleeve so that is what i'm doing if you find this video very educative and very informative don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel feel free to drop your questions tell us topics you love us to treat and ask any questions that, are, yeah, that is not clear to you so that is my shoulder measurements my sleeve measurements my hip line and my knee measurements so don't forget that what we have to do was to take our hip measurements from the gown length up to the hip line and from your shoulder measurements you mark your round sleeve and you connect the lines together i'm just trying to explain it again so every one of you will be able to understand it easily so you connect the line now when connecting the lines make sure you don't have like a sharp um joining at that knee point so make sure you you don't have a sharp joining at that knee hip point rather so after cutting it this is what i'm going to have this is actually beautiful so if you love these fabrics or any other fabric kindly drop your request down below at the comment section we have beautiful fabrics beautiful african prints at our store and we deliver across the world so this is what we have after cutting it out you can see it's very beautiful and this gives you the abaya shape or some people call it the cow kaftan it, it actually depends on what you actually want so the next thing we have to do now is how many of you used to look for your chalk while cutting <laughs> drop experience about your chalk down below at the comment section so i'm trying to mark my neckline so for my neckline i made this of about three inches by four inches so because i don't want it to be too wide because the fabric is actually stretchy so note that for the neckline it actually depends on what you actually want so i'm marking my neckline don't forget to subscribe to the, my channel don't forget to like drop your questions your topics down below at the comment section tell us topics you love us to treat and we'll be right there to treat every of your topics so the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut the shoulder slants away so that is what we are doing we are going to cut the shoulder slants away so after cutting the shoulder slants away we are going to show you guys what it actually looks like this fabric is actually beautiful because of the um, flower shapes on it so i'm going to raise it up and show you guys the outcome of this outfit wow this is actually beautiful so if you've learned one or two things from this um topic drop it down below at the comment section so this is what you have after cutting it you can see it that the cow at the end is already falling even before sewing it and this is beautiful it actually looks like a dove <laughs> this is beautiful so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share subscribe tell us topics you love us to treat don't forget to shop your fabric with us and join us on facebook sewing is fun by tj designs yeah so i'm just showing you guys what it actually looks like this is actually beautiful this is beautiful this is beautiful so you can join us for online classes we have online classes so you can join us for online classes i'm going to put every of the details down below at the description bar for every one of you to see it and i can't wait to finish up my outfit and to rock it to church and sunday and you can also rock this outfit to mugs i think it works for both mugs and church so bye